Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Home Life Love. My name is Rachel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my new plant babies that I am so excited about. I think over this summer, I was definitely able to develop a true love for plants. It started outside definitely, but then now that it's getting cooler, it is coming inside. And I do believe my heart plant is a pothos. I've always had a pothos, at least one pothos in my home. I have one mother pothos the satin, not the satin, it's the golden pothos that I have um, propagated and made into many different plants around my home. And so right now I'm trying to get into different varieties of the pothos. There are, I believe, nine of them that I am trying to collect. And so um, one, of, one that was on my wish list is this Snow Queen pothos. I believe that's what this is. If I mention the name of something and that is not the name of the pothos, you know it's not the name of the pothos, please let me know because I'm definitely trying, but it is very difficult to um, differentiate between them since they are mixtures of each other. So I believe this is a Snow Queen pothos and I am in love with her. She is so beautiful. I received this one right here as a clipping and I rooted her and now I have her in this pot and she is doing very, very well. I'm in love with her. I look at this plant and normally when I have a plant, I have at least one plant that has a leaf that is my favorite or a few leaves that are my favorite. On this plant, this is the only plant that I have that I can say I don't have a, it has multiples and I don't have a favorite on this plant at all. This plant is just absolutely gorgeous. Her leaves are so beautiful and I am truly in love with her. I have not named her yet. If you have a name suggestion, please put it down below, but I have not named her yet because I haven't really, because I was just so determined to keep her healthy and alive while she was um, rooting, I just, I, I'm trying to get to know her first before I name her, but she's very, very beautiful. And I love it in the evening time when I'm, I walk around my home and we're like shutting everything down. I go with my 10 year old and he goes through and he just like names, I give him the technical names as well as the nickname of the plants. And he goes through and he just shares those names. And it's just like such a wonderful thing. My daughter is totally into plants now and she's really, really good. Someday I'll show you some of her plants because I'm telling you, she has a north facing window in her room that is just like making her plants grow like crazy. It, it's really, really exciting. It's so beautiful because it's just a beautiful little little life while we're, we're, I mean, we're in the house almost all the time now. So it's like this leaf right here is so pretty. She's starting to become my best friend, but, or my favorite. But then when I look at the others, I'm still so in love with the others that I, I just leave it. I just say, I love this entire plant. I don't know. This is just so pretty. I stare at her every morning. I rush downstairs and I look at her. <laughs> okay. So enough of her. Next, I have, I'll put her right here so you can keep looking at her. Next, I have, and again, tell me if I'm wrong. This is the Matt Matt. What is this one called? Do you remember? The Enjoy. The Enjoy. We are thinking this is an Enjoy. In the beginning, I thought it was a Manjula pothos, but from what I'm seeing online, I believe this is an enjoy. I'm going to bring her really close so that you can see her. And she has a little baby that's having a little bit of a problem opening up. I hope she's not sick. I don't know. Anyway, oh, this plant is so beautiful. She looks even more beautiful on screen. Okay, um, this, if you can tell me that this is another variety of pothos, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I did, this was another clipping that I have. And then I potted her in this little teeny tiny terracotta pot because I do find that number one, I like to use a really small pot once I um, pot one of my clippings, but the terracotta to me, it's easier for me to like dote over the plant and not overwater it because the terracotta just absorbs so much of the water. And so for this one right here, she has never drooped. She has never done anything. So I just want to bring her nice and close so that you can bask in her beauty and you can tell me if I am identifying her the right way saying that she is 
a an enjoy pathos this looks like a painting it really does she looks like a painting okay i love her i'll put her right here okay next i do have a sable blue and this sable blue again another clipping and so i think that's why these are like so precious to me because these are my little pothos babies this is such a beautiful plant this one right here has a little bit of damage to the leaf i'm not really sure what that's about but i do believe this is the oldest leaf on this entire stem and so she could have sustained some damage um, i'm not really sure but she wasn't like that before I know that I did overwater her a little bit at one point and she was sitting in too much light for a little while. So I just moved her over here. This is my north facing window. I'm hoping that this works out better because I don't like that she has a damaged leaf. I'm, as you can see, I'm really, really particular about these little babies. Look how beautiful that plant is. Oh, what is this? There's a little something on her. Nope, just a little dust. Get her off. Look at that leaf. Look how beautiful that leaf is. And she's just standing up and holding her own. This one is beautiful as well. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy about her. And this one right here with all of these babies that I'm showing you, because these are my first clippings, first plants of, these vari of this variety from the pothos, I am not going to add these to larger pots. I'm going to let them grow from babies and just get bigger and bigger and bigger hopefully, <laughs> and but I'm not going to add these to pots. With my um, my golden pothos, I have been re, like propagating and then adding the clippings to the pot to make the pothos more big and full, but these right here, I am just going to let these just do what they do. I will more than likely curl the leaves, the extended leaves into the pot to make them more full, but as you can see, I have them in super tiny pots, and so hopefully the super tiny pots will make it so that they are okay with them um, just being very full and bushy and kind of being not overly pot bound, but pot bound enough so that they just grow really, really full and they don't focus on really putting out too many um, roots. I'll put her here. And again, I haven't named any of these because I don't know them well enough to name them. Although the next one I'm going to show you, which is not a pothos. Oh, no, no, no. Let me get this one right here. This one right here, I actually don't, I believe this is a pothos, but I don't know the name of it. From what I'm understanding, this may be a jade pothos, but again, I'm going to bring her nice and close and you can tell me exactly what you think. This is just a clipping from my um, satin my satin pothos but um this one here this is the one i have in question i'm not really sure what that is oh it looks like she has a little bit of hard water on her i must have um oh i know i gave her some tap water and i see the results of it on the leaf but this right here if you can identify this leaf i'd really really appreciate it i love her so much she got a little bit too much water yesterday and so she's a little bit droopy but um hopefully this terracotta pot will just like kind of hold her up oh she's already feeling more stiff now that i look at her she's more stiff already but please tell me if you know the name of this one and again she hasn't been named yet okay now sitting next to me i have this plant, this is my newest baby. This is not a pothos, but this is my newest baby. My daughter just bought her for me today. This is the way she came from Home Depot. I haven't done anything to her at all. I haven't, um, I haven't even sprayed her yet, but um, this is the way she looks. She is a Calathea and I know I'm doing research on my Calathea and I realized as much as I just saw her, I thought she was absolutely beautiful. I don't, I didn't know much about her. And so I keep a little notebook of my plants and I know that her nickname is a prayer plant because it will fold up a little bit at nighttime, almost like the hand, hands in a prayer position. And so the nickname is a prayer plant. It likes medium to low light. The humidity is 50 to 60% filtered water because it doesn't like salts and minerals. And I can tell you right now, I can already see that that's true because clearly in Home Depot, they were just giving her regular water. 
and look at the buildup on the leaves. And she doesn't look very, very happy, but as soon as I saw her, I fell in love. And I did name this one, and I think I named her right away because my daughter bought her for me. And her name is Calla, my Calla Calathea. And it also says, I also learned that she does not like to sit in water. So I have to make sure I treat her kind of like my pothos, and that's why I kind of like brought her out with my pothos, my baby pothos. And um, this was the little card that came with her, and I am going to tape that right inside of here. I'm just going to be taping the cards inside of my book. And um, this right here, it says, it just says that it's a living accent, low light house plant but it does not give the exact name of this plant. So I had to look up all of that information. I did already know um, the name of it, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize much about it. Like I've learned also that they are very um, particular about what they want. And in here, it says that the temperature should be between 60 and 75 degrees to make this plant happy because it is a tropical plant. And it says to fertilize it monthly and to care for it, avoid overwatering it. So that's going to be pretty good for me. I am not going, because I have to do some maintenance like this leaf right here, I believe I will just, I will just trim this one off. And then there's another one right, where is it? Right here that I believe I will trim off, but I, I didn't do it yet because I wanted to show you what it looks like exactly straight from the packaging, from the purchase. And I have to clean my tools to make sure, because I did some clipping on another plant that I don't want to um, transfer any information, any anything negative from that plant to this plant. This plant actually has quite a few stalks in here. They're, I mean, they're really jammed in. I see one, two, three, four, five different plants in this pot. And so it's really full. And I think that once I get it acclimated to my home, it will definitely be a beautiful full plant. And here is the pricing on it. It was $5.98. And like I said, my daughter bought this for me. So it's so sweet and so precious. And I see that it is in a grow pot inside of the terracotta. Now this terracotta does not have a drainage hole. So I will not be putting it into this one. But I do think I will put this into a terracotta pot. And I will put it on a stone bed that has water in it because I know that they like humidity and I don't run a humidifier. Um, so I will just um, put it on a stone bed with some humidity going into it. Or maybe I'll even just leave it in this pot right here and I will, um, no, because it doesn't like to have wet feet, I l prefer to put it in a terracotta pot. I personally prefer terracotta pots. But um, this right here is going to be great. And I already have a four inch terracotta pot, so I know that I'll be able to just switch it over. But I'm just gonna wait until it gets acclimated to my home before I do that, because I don't want it to have too much of a, a shock that happens to it while it's here. Now I'm looking at this right here and I see this, and it looks like this may be a flowering house plant. I don't know, can you tell me about that? That little dry piece? But anyway, whatever it is, it's beautiful. The leaves are absolutely gorgeous. I see that this leaf right here is extremely dark. And hopefully the rest of it will follow suit. It looks like that is one of the more healthy leaves. But then this looks like a younger leaf and it's very firm. So maybe that's going to be the way most of them look. But I'm not really sure. I'm actually on Pinterest right now. I'm looking at pictures of them because I just want to see exactly what would be considered a healthy plant. And this, although it is very, very crowded, it may be even root bound, but I'm not going to check the roots now. I'm definitely going to wait until it gets adjusted to my home and then I will go from there. So those are all the plants that I wanted to share with you today. I am so excited about my beautiful, happy plants. And I mean, I am just so excited about this jungle that we are creating in our home. I actually thought my husband would just be a little bit um, put off by the amount of plants that I'm just like always doting over but he has actually been loving it. He has been loving plant shopping with me. And so this is really, really cool. My children are loving it. My oldest son is not so much into the plants, but then I can definitely see his appreciation for them, you know, asking about their names and things like that. And that is just such a wonderful thing because they are such a beautiful little life that 
you know, cleans the air in the home, everything. I have one project plant that I'm working on. Not that it, it is an issue as far as me getting a plant that was like on its way out as much as I just brought my Boston fern inside because it's getting too cold at nighttime for it outside. And it is definitely mad at me. It broke up with me completely. And so I've been misting her every day and I am, we haven't had any rain, so I don't have rain water for her. So I have to just do the bottled um, water for her just to make sure she's not getting too many minerals and 100%, it's a huge fern. It is absolutely huge. So I have to try to find a way to put it on a rock bed and a rock bed big enough for it because it definitely needs moisture, but I have been spritzing her every day. Um, someone, a friend of mine told me that I should just give her a little mist every single day because I did give her some steam, some warm steam, but it didn't seem to make her very happy. But when I started misting her, I definitely saw the difference in her. So if you have any tips on a fern, um, again, please share them with me. <laughs> I'd be very, very happy about that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you come back for another video and I will see you and talk to you soon. Bye guys.